ছিলেন নেল নায়ক নূর মোহাম্মদ বাংলাদেশ get out of poverty okay we are trying to extricate people of from poverty from different angles not just improving income and employment but also improving uh, their opportunities so that they can uh, have access to education access to healthcare and access to a more dignified life that's what we want Faisal Hassan Abed is a visionary His development agency Brack is based in the capital Dhaka. He studied and worked abroad but moved back to Bangladesh in 1971 to find a country left in ruins by natural disaster and the struggle for independence from Pakistan. The devastation prompted him to sell his apartment in London and change his life completely. Uh, 26 and then leaving on Monday. Right? I used to be a business executive i used to work for shell oil company and i left shell and then <laughs> decided to do this and uh, initially of course i thought i'll do it for a few years but then when we found the poverty is so intense in bangladesh that we had to commit ourselves for the whole life and not just few years few years won't do it. so bangladesh used to be the second poorest country in the world after Burkina Faso. There were a lot of child mortality in Bangladesh. A quarter of our children died before their fifth birthday. So we had to do something about child mortality reduction. Reducing child mortality rates in slums is one of his top priorities. The BRAC project, focusing on bettering maternal, neonatal and child mortality in urban areas, is called Manoshi. So we decided to go from house to house teaching mothers how to make oral rehydration fluid at home and how to administer it. It took us 10 years to go to 13 million households in Bangladesh and teach one to one one woman in every household how to make oral rehydration fluid and how to administer it. So that had a big impact in the country in cutting down infant mortality from diarrhea. Brack's guiding principle is that poverty amelioration can only be sustained through greater equality in gender roles. It therefore advocates women's rights and the improvement of their welfare. By training midwives, for example, who look after women too poor to afford a doctor. In intervention areas, neonatal mortality rates have subsequently declined, as have maternal mortality rates. Thanks to Brack, 25 million women now receive medical attention. We, we work with women a lot in, in this country. Our microfinance clients, uh, more than 6 million clients are all women. We work with the women because women uh, in Bangladesh has been the managers of poverty. They manage poverty in the household. So we thought that if the managers of poverty are women why not shouldn't they be the managers of development <laughs> so that's what we we focused our attention on women's development and women's empowerment every program that we did we first started small made it effective and then efficient and then scaled up throughout the nation so so one secret is that most ngos remain small and beautiful they don't want to grow very much but we were very ambitious we wanted to change bangladesh and that's the reason why we had to become large and effective rather than small and beautiful brack is now the world's largest ngo operating in 11 countries with a staff of 120000 and an annual budget of 500 million euros only part of which comes from donations 
The rest is generated by the organization itself, its many subsidiary companies, investments and bank. I'm happy that I have changed my life to another, to the direction in which I have come. I would have been otherwise a, a professional uh, person. I would probably have retired by the age of 65, 62. I'm now 78, I'm still working in my organization, and I find a great deal of satisfaction in working in this organization. There are so many more things to be done, so I, I can't feel satisfied that I've done everything that I wanted to do. So I still need to do many more things. A decision that will continue to help those in need.